Hi, my name is Attila Major, and I like to talk about the small talk mock library called Baby Mock. The interesting thing in Baby Mock that it can display the messages between the objects and show it in a graphical interface. To demonstrate this, I'm going to be TDDing a cache register kata, which will be a simplified version. If you are interested in the full version, I will post the link in the description of this video. I'm going to start with a baby mock test case, which extends directly from the S3 test case, and let's call it register test. The responsibility of this uh, cache register is to receive barcodes and calculate the sum of the product prices and report it to a receipt receiver. The cache register responds with three different messages, a new cell, an end cell, and a barcode entered. So let's write our first test case, test that it does not report price for an empty sale. And by empty I mean we will send the new sale and the end sale command and we won't enter any barcode. So let's create the register. You see the instance variable and then let's define its class. And I'm gonna send the new sale and the instant end sale command. And but we are expecting that a receipt receiver won't receive a total price message. Let's create the receipt receiver as an instance variable and it will be a mock. So let's initialize. We can create mocks by sending the mock message to the context with the name. And this context is similar than the context in JMOC. We can create box using this context, and this context represents the neighbors of the object under test. And we have to pass this receipt receiver to the register. Message not understood, receipt receiver. Let's create it and store it. Message not understood, new sale. Let's create it. Here we have sale event. Message not understood, end sale. Let's create it. Okay. And our first test case is green. Time to do some refactoring. I move these lines into the into the setup method and delete them from the test method. And it is still green. We can enable the visual mode by sending a visual mode command to the context with the class of the object under test. And basically what is happening here that we have this register, which is the object under test, and this is the test case, and the test sent a new CL command. This is this line, and after it received an end CL command, and there were no other interactions with the, between the register and the receipt receiver. In the second test case, we want to test that it does report price of one product, and we have to enter a barcode here. Let's say this. And we need to introduce another collaborator which will contain the prices of the products. Let's call it product catalog. It will be other mock. And I move this into the setup method. And we have to pass it to the register. And it will be an instance variable. And this product catalog will be a stub. So it can receive a price of message. 
with this barcode and it will answer back the price of this product this will be 100 for example and we are expecting that the receipt receiver will receive the total price of 100 message not understood product catalog let's create the accessor And message not understood barcode entered. Let's create a sale event. Okay. And let's see what happened. So we received the new sale. We entered the barcode. And after the end sale, there is this gray arrow indicates that this total price was expected, but we haven't received it. This is a missing message. So I'm going to implement the functionality which will send the total price to the receipt receiver. So we have the barcode here and we can ask the price of this product by sending a price of message to the product catalog using this barcode and let's uh, store it in a total price variable. And we can see the interaction, but we still haven't received the total price. So in the end cell, I can report this price to the receipt receiver. And this is the first test case. It is broken. Let's check the second one. And the second one is working fine. But the first one is broken because we expected uh, no interaction but we receive this total price. I can uh, click on this table to open the sender of this uh, message and one thing we can do is to initialize the total price to zero and check the value in the answer and if total price is not zero then we can send it. And now we are green. This is the first test case, and this is the second one. <clears throat> In the third test case, I'm going to enter two products, and I expect that the total price will be the sum of the products. So let's enter an other barcode. Let's say this, and the price of this product will be 50 and the total price should be 150. And as you can see, after the end sale, we received the total price 50, which is wrong because this is the price of the last product. So we need to add the prices and add the old value of the total price, the actual value. And now it should work. And it should report 150. I want to make sure that the register can handle multiple sales. So in our final test case, we are testing that it resets the price after each sale. And I end this sale here and start a new one and I'm expecting to receive uh, 150 so two different two separate prices and let's see what happens the first uh, price was correct but the second one is incorrect because it keeps adding the prices to each other so we need to reset the price in the new cell. And now it should work. This is the first test case. This is the last one. The first price was 100 and the second is 50. 
Let's check the sequence diagram. As you can see, this is the first cell, and this is the second one. And there were two interactions with the resist receiver and the product catalog. So that was it. Uh, please note that baby mode is in alpha stage, so I don't recommend using it in a production environment, but you can download it and experiment with it. Bye.